Do you like Holi? The festival of colors? I love it. Especially, you know, when you fill those balloons with water, colored water, and then throw it. What fun! And that's what is interesting part of the pressure. You know, pressure is not only exerted by solids, it is even exerted by liquids. Why your balloon got inflated? It was because of the pressure being exerted by the colored water. You can do another activity. You can take a tube and put a little rubber sheet or a part of balloon and tie it at the bottom. Now, fill it with water. In fact, you can take two. You fill more water in the second one, say B. And what you find? The bulge is more in the case of B. So, what are the conclusions? First conclusion is liquids exert pressure. Second is the longer column of liquid exerts more pressure. Now, you can have lot of fun games out of this. You can take a ball, simple rubber ball, make small holes in it and then if water you just press it out, so that air goes out and then when you will release water will go in and then ag again exert pressure there will be kind of fountain. Similarly, you can also take a plastic bottle, any old Pepsi bottle or water bottle. In this bottle, say this is the bottle, if here you make a hole with a tube, you will say how will I make a hole? You know plastic melts very easily. So, you take a glass tube, heat it a little and then the moment you will put it on the plastic, it the plastic will melt and the tube will go in. But you know the hole may become a little bigger than the tube. So, then you can use plasticine or some other fixing material, so that it is tight from here. Now, you put a balloon here and fill water. The water will flow from here and this will get inflated. In fact, you can also have holes at various levels. And then see how water is coming. From the higher level, water will come with a greater force. All these activities are only there to prove one point, and that is that pressure is exerted by liquids also, and taller the column of water, more will be the pressure. And that is why the water coming from the higher holes was with more pressure. What is the normal way of inflating balloons? not putting water, but normally what we do? We blow air and they become inflated. In the case of tubes of cycles, scooters, rickshaws or cars, trucks, there also the air is filled into the tube and then it is fitted into the tire. In fact, it is first put in tire and then air is filled. Why? Why not other way around that first we fill air and then try and put tube in the tire? We will not be able to because then it will become larger in size, it gets inflated. So, what is the conclusion from this? Conclusion is air also exerts pressure. So, now we have understood that pressure is force exerted on unit area and pressure is exerted by solid, liquid and gases.